Good morning, boys and girls. Good to see you this morning. Let's get our day started. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Boys and girls, today is Wednesday. W -w Wednesday. What sound do you hear at the beginning of that word? W -w w. That's right. W -w Wednesday starts with the letter W, like washing machine, or w -w whale. Boys and girls, today we are starting in a new month. The month of March is over. We are in a new month. Our new month is April. Can you say that word? April. April starts with a capital A. Listen to that word, A. April. The letter A is making his own sound. He's saying his name, April. And today is the first day of April. So here's my number one for April. Can you see that? It's a little chick in an egg. A little girl chick with a pink bow and a pink egg because do you know what holiday is coming up? Easter is coming up. So here is April the 1st. It is Wednesday. All right, let's take a look at the weather wheel outside. We've been talking about the weather and the seasons. I hope you're sitting by a window. Maybe you can look out your window and see how the weather looks today. Is it snowing? No. Is it raining? No, it is sunny. You're right, sunny, and I can see the wind blowing. It is a sunny day today. It's going to be a good day to get outside and play. All right, boys and girls, our color of the month is the color purple. Here's purple, and here's my purple pointer. And your challenge today on Facebook is to see what purple things you can find around your house. So go gather up some purple things. Take a picture and post it in our class page on Facebook so I can see all of your purple things for our color of the month. All right, our letter of the week is the letter Z. Z like zebra, Z like z, 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 zipper, that's right. And speaking of the letter Z, on Wednesdays, we always read our letter book. And here is the letter Z. What kind of animal do you see on the front of this book? Yep, there's that zebra. And these Z's right here coming out of his mouth show me that he's sleeping. He's snoring. And the title of this book is Zack the Lazy Zebra. Look at all those Z's. There's one, two, three. There's capital Z's and a lowercase z. Let's see lazy. Do you ever feel lazy? When you're lazy, it means you just want to lay around. You don't want to do anything. You just want to sit on the couch and watch TV and be lazy. You don't want to do anything. Let's see what this lazy zebra does. Zach the zebra lives at the zoo. All day long, what does Zach do? I hear rhyming words. Did you hear? Zoo do. What do you think he does all day at that zoo? Zzz. He's sleeping. The zookeepers bring a zebra snack, but it doesn't wake up Zach. Zach has no zest. He wants to rest. Zzz. Zest means like excitement or pep, and Zach does not have any zest. I know my class is full of zest and energy and excitement. This zookeeper has zucchini. He says, try some zucchini. And this zookeeper has ziti. Ziti is a type of pasta or a noodle. How about some ziti? He's not even gonna wake up for his yummy food. They zap Zach with a garden hose. Is it waking him up? They bang a drum. They tickle his nose. Zach's eyes stay closed. 
He wants to doze. Doze is another word for sleep. Can you pretend to doze? Doze. And it ends with zzz. Look, not even tickling him with a feather or banging that drum is waking him up. They try a zillion zany tricks. Zany. Zany means interesting, unique. They try all different kinds of tricks. They're being zany. They hop around on pogo sticks. Tricks. Sticks. It rhymes. And look at Zach the zebra. What's he doing? He's dozing away. Zach thinks their tricks are boring. Excuse me. <clears throat> he goes on snoring. Look, here comes Zed, a zebra with a zing. <gasps> Another zebra named Zed, and he's got a lot of zing. Does, does this guy look lazy? Or does he look like he's ready to party? He is full of energy. He's full of zing. That means he is excited and full of energy. <clears throat> he zooms and zigzags around everything. Will Zed make Zach wake up and leap? Look at, look at Zach. is still just snor snoring away. No. Now two zebras want to sleep. At last, the zookeepers give up their schemes. They give up their tricks and ideas. They wish Zach and Zed sweet zebra dreams. Look, they covered them up. They gave up. All those zebras want to do is sleep. How many things can you find that begin with the letter Z? I see zoo. Look how you spell zoo. Z-O-O. -O. That word only has three letters. You can write it. Zoo. Zebras. Zoo keepers. I see that pasta right here called ziti. Zucchini. There's Zach. And Zed, did we get all of the Z words, boys and girls? I think we did. All right, well today, I want you to open up your composition book that everybody has, and y'all know what to do in here. You know to open up to your blank page, and we do capital Zs, and we do lowercase Zs. I'm gonna come back here to my marker board, <clears throat> All right, we know what we do on these pages because we've done it for every single letter. So we're going to do, we're going to do our capital Z. We're going to go over, down, and then over. Move up a little bit closer. And then let's do another capital Z. We're going to start at the top. We're going to go over down, and then back over, capital Z. Now we need to do lowercase z's. Lowercase z's look just like capital Z, but they're low. They're gonna start down lower. So here we go, our lowercase z's. Let's make three of them. If you wanna make more, you can. Ready, lowercase z. We're going to go over, down, over. We're gonna leave a space. Let's do another one. Over, down, over. One more. I'm gonna leave my space. Over, down, over. All right, now there were a lot of words in that book that started with the letter Z. So let's think about some of those words. Zoo was one of them. Zoo. And it's hard to draw a picture of a zoo because there's so many animals, but I can draw the sign going into the zoo, like that, zoo. What else did we see that started with a Z? Zebra, zebra. 
Zebra starts with Z. Now, Miss Randall's drawing, y'all know at school, Miss Randall tries very hard, and sometimes my drawings come out good, and sometimes they just don't even look right. Here's his mane, and he needs an ear, an eye, nose, and then what do zebras have? They've got stripes on them. So, how about some zebra stripes? Does that look like a zebra? Is it good enough? Let's see, what else? I heard the word zigzag. Watch how we can sound out zigzag. Z, I, 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 G, 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 what letter? G, there's the word zig, Z, Ig. Now let's sound out zag, Z, Z, I, 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 what letter? A, G, G, G. Another G. Look, you just sounded out the word zigzag. And to make a zigzag, it's going to look like a letter Z. You're just going to zigzag your hand back and forth. Look, zigzag, 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 zig. Kind of looks like a lightning bolt, doesn't it? You know, the pasta that was in that book was called ZT. ZT pasta. Look how you spell ZT. Z I T I. ZD and ZD pasta is pasta that kind of looks like this, like little tubes, like straws. ZD pasta. Boys and girls, I want you to open up your writing journal and practice your letter Z's and write these Z words and then you draw your letter Z pictures to go with it. All right, I'll be back in a minute to read another book to you today about winter. That's the season that we're going to talk about in just a minute. Bye.